three main advantages of the SAM technology mm -hmm. are that we increased, we increased the speaker uh, response in the low frequency by sending the accurate information to the loudspeaker, knowing how the driver behaves, we can really have him reproduce lower frequencies than usual. Um, so more bass response. We remove the phase distortion once again, because we know how it behaves, and we, we match the audio signal to the very characteristic of the driver. And the third advantage is that we um, actually protect the driver's excursion so by measuring uh, the, the driver's movement, we also know what is the maximum excursion that can be reached without damaging the, the loudspeaker. And this is computed and monitored in real time. Mm. So when SAM is activated, your excursion will never go beyond that limit. It's very interesting because the SAM, um, it began two years ago, uh, in 2014, and it was in, a, in, our, in, our, uh, yeah, in our headquarters uh, in Paris. Mm -hmm. And we were in a basement with a lot of material in a little SAM laboratory. Mm -hmm. And um, it was maybe half the size of this room. And uh, we had uh, many, many cables, many... Uh, devices to make those measurements and the first speaker that, that was measured and uh, for which we created a profile was it it took us uh, three months wow. because the, the software had to be designed mm. in the second took us one week mm. and then the, the, the speakers were done in maybe one or two days right it uh, for six months it was like this and then we decided to put everything we had in this room mm -hmm. in a small box mm -hmm. because we knew that in every device we could eliminate some functionalities that we do, didn't need. So everything we need is condensed in this box. Yeah. And then when we created it, we created this software that goes with it. Yeah. And with this software, we reduced the time to uh, measure a speaker to mm. uh, 10 minutes for a small speaker like this because there is only one driver to measure and maybe 20 minutes for a big mm. speaker with three or four drivers to measure. So the SAM lab is a yeah, portable uh, tool that is used to create a SAM profile for a loudspeaker. Here we will measure the Axis voice box S. Um, so uh, I will first plug everything and then during the measurement I will explain the process okay. in details because it will take a bit of time. So if you want to use the SAM lab, which is this golden box, you have to plug it at the back of an amplifier, the VLA amplifier, which will generate all the signals we need to do the measurements. So we'll plug this golden box with uh, some uh, connections, the serial connection to, uh, to the amplifier and the USB connection uh, to connect the software with the golden box. And then we just plug the, the box uh, and it's, it's perfectly adapted to the back of the, of the amplifier. So the signal the, uh, here, the signal, um, the audio signal that goes to the, to the speaker mm -hmm. is a direct signal that comes from the, the amplifier and goes through the box without changing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. here the, there's a, an electronic box which that is the, the software will use to transform every signal that is sent to the software into mm -hmm. the measurements we right. need. Okay. So in order to do the measurements, obviously we have to connect the speakers to the SAM lab box. So the speaker is connected mm -hmm. to, the speaker, to, the, to the amplifier. And then we have to connect everything to the computer in which we find the software that we will use to measure the speaker. So you use a pair of USBs? Yes, so only USBs, one is linked to the amplifier and one is linked to uh, the SAM lab box. Gotcha. And then to do the excursion measurement, we connect a laser cable mm -hmm. uh, to the laser sensor. So this is, this is not a microphone, this is it's a laser? Right? absolutely not a microphone. We don't need any uh, microphone. The, the 
great advantage of uh, SAMLAB is that we can measure every speaker anywhere. We don't use uh, a microphone, we only measure the impedance of the speaker and the, the excursion of the driver, so we only need a laser and it's and the, the noise outside is not a problem at all. Lock them up with no ocean. So the speaker we will just direct it to the center of the driver just to make sure the measurement will be done correctly. Okay. And then we can launch the the software. We need a special configuration on the DVI amplifier to launch the software. It's uh, put only on a just a mm. simple card. At the end of the of the process we, we will create the profile that mm. we go on the website. Right. And we will measure one driver because Sam acts only on low, in low frequencies and 150 hertz. So we will so we will measure only the best driver. Mm. What we will do is uh, make two first measurements. Mm -hmm. So first the impedance measurements so directly to, by the cable. Uh, <coughs> the uh, voltage will be um, measured, and then uh, as you send the a certain current, you can measure the voltage and then uh, deduce the, the impedance. We send uh, to measure it uh, sweep frequencies mm -hmm. from 1 to 1000 Hertz, uh, which is a precaution because we will only need uh, the 1 to 150 Hertz range. Um, and um, and uh, the, the sweep frequencies are repeated five times to make sure mm -hmm. everything's correct. And the second measurement with the same setup will be the laser one. Uh, the laser will measure the, the excursion of the driver mm -hmm. uh, during these sweeps. And with those two measurements, it's the only thing we need to create the model of the speaker. So with the impedance and the, the excursion of the driver, we can, re, we can create a virtual model of the speaker. As the measure is finished, we, we, can, um, we can see the, the measurement, the impedance measurement. The, 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 the gain and the phase of the impedance measurement. Mm -hmm. This is typically a vented box impedance measurement with yeah. two peaks. So uh, we can see that the measurement uh, went well. Yeah. And we can go to the second measurement, which is the driver excursion. It's basically exactly the same measurement, but uh, the data that the amplifier will um, keep mm. is the laser data and not the cable yeah. ones. Yeah, so into the driver moving, yeah. There's a limit to your love, your love, your love. The real, the real SAM lab process is mm. done through the amplifier. The amplifier does everything. Right. There is a, a, a kind of a, a box in the, the amplifier that mm. generates every signal we need, so the sweep measurements and everything. So do you do the, the mid-range as well? No, 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 it's only the low frequencies. Ah, right. The SAM is only working below 150 Hz. Right. But as you change the this uh, uh, behavior of the speaker, mm -hmm. you can hear, uh, um, you, have, you feel that the, the mid-range and high frequencies are changed too. It's just an impression, but as you change the general behavior, mm -hmm. you can hear some differences. So the, the, exactly the, the whole range reopens up mm -hmm. once the sound profile is turned on, but we actually don't modify anything Above uh, 150 hertz, so we don't change the your loudspeaker signature. It remains exactly the same. We just we merely improve the way it handles the the, the low frequencies. So carelessly there. Is it truth or dare? to keep uh, in our process the signature 
you know, the manufacturer's signature in every speaker, mm -hmm. and the signature is usually in the Twitter and the high and mid frequencies. Mm -hmm. We just want to uh, extend the low frequencies to reveal the full potential of every speaker in low frequencies, because we know that um, when you push the volume, uh, you can break the speaker if you, you know, if you because too yes, much because, power. right? Yes, uh, and so the usually the low frequencies are not. Um, completely revealed, you know, because we don't want to break the speakers, we don't want to break the pace drivers. And as we know exactly how it will behave uh, because of these measurements, mm -hmm. we will be able to know exactly how it will, it will move, and then we will be able to protect the driver mm -hmm. uh, not to move too far. Uh, the, the driver excursion measurement is finished, so mm -hmm. we can see it here. Uh, what you can see here is the excursion mm -hmm. and then the speed and the acceleration of the membrane. Yeah. Uh, these two are taken from this uh, graph, mm -hmm. uh, which is the real measurement. Yeah. And with those two measurements, we can go straight to the second screen, which is the modeling. And this is the intelligence of the SAM lab. Mm -hmm. is that um, we can reproduce the exact model of the speaker. The second phase, and it would be the last measurement, mm -hmm. is the maximum excursion measurement of the driver. So this is uh, the second um, big advantage of SAM, is that uh, not only we know exactly how the driver will behave, and then we can extend the frequency uh, range mm -hmm. of the speaker, but as we do so, we know that the driver will move further and then we have to protect it yep. uh, for the sake of the speaker. To, to measure this, excu this excursion, we will uh, send a sinus signal at the frequency resonance, uh, the resonance frequency of the driver. Mm -hmm. So here it's 32 hertz and then at the low level, level first and then we will push the volume and you will see the driver move more and more okay so this is where we will uh, put the limit Mm -hmm. So this will be the maximum excursion of the driver. I decided to take this limit because, uh, as uh, I can see on my screen, the response of the, the driver, so the excursion of the driver, will be non-linear when we reach this limit and go further. Right. So this is, this is the frequency, the sine wave here. Yes, this, exactly, the, yeah. the, the time response of the speaker, so yeah. the exact measurement of yeah. the laser here and uh, the, the upper limit for the excursion will be 3.5 3.4 mm -hmm. so how many speakers do you think you'd, you'd, you'd measure in a, in a visit like this in a visit like this mm. in one day yeah oh, I can do maybe eight or nine wow uh, to ten ten speakers I think the record was uh, 15 or something like okay this in one day so you do I mean you so you guys sometimes do tours of different locations to get yes. access to speakers yes. that you probably wouldn't otherwise. Exactly, exactly. Right. Usually, the for for one year or not for six months, the speakers went to Paris in mm. our store. Mm. And for some speakers that are really big, yeah. can't be moved. Uh, it's really better to have a portable tool and mm. then uh, go to, you know, come to the the speakers. Uh, the speakers don't come to us, we come to the speakers. <laughs> sure, and also because it, you, you guys might not know about local speakers like the Axis Voice Box, for example. Exactly. I know these, these guys have a presence in the USA, but you know, they're, they're not, they're not B&W. Exactly. So it's good that you're kind of getting these sort of more local, smaller brands yeah, covered. I think that's we great. Do, we do tours like this. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, maybe six years ago we did one, then uh, six, sorry, six months ago, and then one year ago or so. Mm -hmm. so 
we do tools like this to discover some new uh, loudspeakers and maybe do some profiles mm -hmm. that we uh, for speakers that we uh, look look for in Europe that we don't find. Mm -hmm. and maybe in one in one place uh, in Asia there there is uh, the speakers. So mm -hmm. It's useful for us. And do you ever find a speaker you can't measure? Yes, of course. There are speakers we can't measure because uh, maybe no, there's not no, an example here, but. Um, for example, the, the classical is, example is the um, electrostatic panel speakers. Right. Because the, the electrostatic panels are not moving coils, uh, electrodynamic yes, uh, drivers. Yeah. So the model of the SAM, the Chilean small parameters model, is not applied, uh, yeah. we can't apply it yes. to, to the electrostatic panels. So, so SAM was not designed to do yeah. those. So you can't do magnet pans for the same reason. Well, uh, yeah. yeah, this, this right. is the reason. So you need to have dynamic drivers, cones, yes. right, yes. okay. And sometimes when there, when there are uh, many drivers, maybe four drivers, base mm. drivers, that act completely different, uh, differently from uh, one from each other. Uh, mm. uh, from each other? Yes. Yeah. Uh, they, um, so you have to measure each one individually? We have to measure each one individually, and if they have completely different responses, mm. uh, the driver uh, measurements uh, the mean driver measurement will be uh, really right, I see. odd. And uh, as we model the speaker as if it was one driver, one mm. base driver, we can't do a profile. Oh, because I see. We because fit the right. Cause you have to average out the yes, response, right? Yes. I've got you. So it's probably actually better just to do a, a single, like a simple two way would benefit more, right? The, yes, but. Mainly the like, a speaker like uh, three way like uh, this BMW mm -hmm. is uh, perfectly. Uh, uh, we can do a profile for these type of speakers because the two drivers act completely the same. Right. And it's the case for many many speakers. Right. Do have a laser working? We the, the last adjustment we do is the, the extension in low frequency mm -hmm. response of the speaker. So here we can see in red the, the frequency response of the speaker without sum. Mm -hmm. And in black, it's what we do uh, when we in, insert the sum profile in yeah. the, the amplifier. Mm -hmm. uh, the response becomes this black curve. So for example, with this speaker, we extend the low frequency range uh, from 76 Hertz which is the lower lower limit mm -hmm. to 36 hertz. So we add a uh, whole new musical contents. That's quite a big, Yes. I mean, it's 40 hertz. Yes, That's but a lot. as we know exactly how the mm. driver works, we can protect it. Yeah. And when, when, the, when the, the maximum excursion is reached, mm -hmm. we just cut low frequencies dynamically in yeah. real time when we play music.